With two decades of active involvement in education and politics, Jackie Goldberg continues to fight on behalf of students. Her direct connection with students K-12 and her keen political activism has distinguished her through many decades. She is a Los Angeles native and a resident of Echo Park since 1967. Vote for Jackie Goldberg in the primary election on March 5, 2019. Let your voice be heard. Jackie, I know that you're very busy and March 5th is uh, not far away, not but far. thank you for making time to, for the sit-down interview and uh, allow me for, on behalf of the Armenian community to say thank you for being a good friend. Oh, well, thank you, Arshaluz. I appreciate you having me. Thank you. Uh, what can you tell our viewers about your experience as a council member? Well, you know, when I was on the city council, I was very happy to have Baitsar be uh, a deputy in my office the uh, full eight years I was there because she really helped me connect to the community in a different way. Uh, so it, it made it possible for me, for example, to commemorate every year the Armenian Genocide and to attend some of the ceremonies about it. She also helped me do Little Armenia during my uh, stay there. And we worked very closely because there were a number of new immigrants at that time still coming into the East Hollywood area of the district I represented. And so we spent some time working on making making sure that the housing that people got uh, was inspected annually uh, so that when they paid rent, uh, they got a house that was clean, safe, and sanitary. Uh, so those were things that were important to me at the time that I was on the city council. And with Baitsar's help, it helped me connect to the community. Thank you. Um, uh, if you can uh, talk about your tenure in the California State Assembly. I had many of the same experiences. Uh, in the assembly, I represented still a, a part of the Armenian community, though I will say many of the folks that I had represented on the city council had moved into Glendale, Glendale. had moved into the San Fernando Valley. So the community was actually getting smaller a little bit in terms of the area I represented. But here again, I was a part of the commemoration ceremonies for the Armenian Genocide. That's an important issue to me. Being Jewish means that I understand genocide, and I also understand genocide deniers. And those folks do not help communities heal. In fact, they make it much harder to heal because they pretend that these devastating things never happened. Every April, LA City Council commemorates the Armenian Genocide. What does it mean to recognize the genocide? Well, it means that we say it existed, that it happened, that people were, have to take responsibility for it. You know, when people deny such off devastating things as the killing of people as they're being pushed out of a country and traveling and they get murdered along the way, when you deny that, you make it more likely for things like that to happen again. And we don't ever want that to happen again. Genocide deniers are people who try to say that, they're, that there's nobody who should be held responsible for actions of nations that were terrible and devastating. And so for me it meant that we were saying to the world that the city council recognizes this devastation and we're here to commemorate the terrible loss. And say never again. And say never again. Jackie, what more can be done to improve school funding? Well, Arshaluz, you know, it's important that we do that. New York spends $2 for every dollar California spends on its public school students. That's terrible because we're the fifth richest economy in the world in California, and there's no excuse for our students not getting really everything they need to be successful in school. So I would say we need to be looking at taxing the wealth of the state. We have a, a uh, property tax that includes not just homeowners, but all the commercial property of this state, very valuable property. The people who uh, have oil tank farms in Lomita in California are paying the same taxes that they did in 1978. Nobody else is paying the same taxes. Exactly. We need to split the role and we need to charge them a reasonable tax rate, yes, but it, we need to charge them a tax rate that reflects the value of that property. And there are other areas that we need to look at too because I think that the state of California has been harmed by having to have a two-thirds vote in each house to change tax policy. But finally, we have two-thirds vote in each house. Now they need to step forward and say that children are valuable, all children are valuable, and we need to invest in their education because their future is our future. Definitely. So there is room and there are ways. Yes.
Glenbell Garden տարեցների առողջապահական կենտրոնը իր բարձրորակ ծառայություններն է մատուցում համայնքի տարեցների։ Ապահովում են փոխադրամիջոցով։ Դիետոլոգի կողմից մշակված համապատասխանը սննդակարգով։ Ունենք բժշկական ծառայություններ, ինչպիսիք են դեղորայքի ներարկումներ, ճնշման եւ շաքարային դիաբետի ստուգումներ, մասնագիտացված խորհրդակցություն, ֆիզիոթերապիա եւ վերականգնողական մարմնամարզություն։ Սոցիալական ծառայություններ, որոնք կբարելավ են այցելուների վիճակը։ Յուրաքանչյուր օր հագեցված է ժամանցային հետաքրքիր ծրագրերով։ International Families Association is a non-profit organization. Կազմակերպություն, որ տարիներ շարունակ ծառայում է 9-ից 10-ր եկամուտ ունեցող ընտանիքների։ Յուրաքանչյուր երկու շաբթի եւ 4 շաբթի օրերին կեսորից հետո ժամը 2-ից 5-ը տրամադրվում է անվճար ուտելիկ եւ այլ ապրանքներ։ Ընդունվում է ամեն տեսակի հովանավորություն։ Մանրամասների համար զանգահարել 8770079-ը հերախոսը համարով։ With two decades of active involvement in education and politics, Jackie Goldberg continues to fight on behalf of students. Her direct connection with students K-12 and her keen political activism has distinguished her through many decades. She is a Los Angeles native and a resident of Echo Park since 1967. Vote for Jackie Goldberg in the primary election on March 5, 2019. Let your voice be heard. Jackie, what should the approach be to addressing the standards of LA Unified School District? Well, I think that at some point we need to remember that not every student wants to go to college. But that doesn't mean that they don't need to have a good job and a high paying job that gives them entry to the middle class if that's not where their family is already. So some of it is we need to revitalize vocational education, not to get people ready for dead end jobs, but for the high tech jobs. And that does not necessarily require a college diploma, but it does require a significant education and training. And I would say that what we need to do is to connect our middle and high schools to community colleges so that we have a path from say grade 6 to grade 14 where students can prepare to be coders, to deal with the digital world, to deal with the high technology of auto repair. Auto repair is not what it once was. You need to know computers to do Definitely. auto repair. But we have a whole host of jobs even plumbers and electricians we can't get done and yet those are very high paying jobs so i think we need to have a dual approach we need to say yes we need to prepare kids to go to college because everybody who wants to should be prepared to do so but we also know that there are very high paying jobs in our society now that don't require college but do require significant additional training and i'm hopeful that we will move in that direction as well thank you so uh, standards do change on daily basis yes Well not daily but they do change and they change to reflect the economy that children are being prepared to enter with this pace Yeah well it, maybe it is daily <laughs> <laughs> Thank you thank you uh, Jackie our children like you mentioned uh, are our future how can we make their future brighter Well you know when I said before uh, Arshalus that we are in the fifth richest economy in the world if if California were a country We, there'd be only four economies bigger than California's economy. We should be doing things that reduce homelessness. We should be doing things that reduce poverty. You know, every time the minimum wage goes up, academic achievement goes up. Why? Because when children worry about whether or not they're going to have a place to live or enough food to eat, it's very hard to concentrate on your studies. So the state and the county and the cities should all be working together to reduce poverty, to provide dental care coverage not just medical coverage because the biggest reason for absences in our school district is dental problems so there are lots of things we can do to help families be stronger and healthier and able to pay for the needs like housing and food and that in itself will begin to change the outcomes for kids in school So California can secure a better future Absolutely yes. it's just political will and it's always been a problem but now with the two thirds votes that's been a hampering of doing some of the things i think we have a new governor and i think we have a new superintendent of public instruction and we definitely have a new two thirds majority in both houses it's time to tell them 
take care of the population with this big wealthy economy that we have. It's the willingness that is important. Political and, uh, will. De definitely. Um, what can the average American do to help provide the necessary resources for teachers? Because teachers, yeah. uh, to me, my first teacher was my uh, family member. Of course. First teachers are always your family members. But I think there are lots of things. There, because our schools are so underfunded, there are lots of things that parents can do, and even people who aren't parents. You, there, you can go to the nearest school and say, I'd like to volunteer. So what could you do as a volunteer? Let's say you could come one morning a month for two hours, okay? A, a week, rather, for two hours. They might assign you a child who is having a hard time reading to read with off in the corner or in the library. That moves that child along more dramatically. Or you could volunteer after school. Lots of children want to learn different things and their parents are at work, so they have a kind of minimalist after school program, but you could enhance that. You could volunteer as many volunteers do in the area I represented before uh, at the high schools to help students prepare their college uh, essays, which are hard for them. To, to write their personal essays. And we have a whole bunch of volunteers at Marshall High School, at Hollywood High School, at Fairfax High School that do that, but you could do it at any high school. Also, I think it's important to contact your state assembly member and your state senator and tell them that it is time for them with two-thirds vote to begin to raise the amount of money that is available to every school child in California. My mom was a teacher and to me, uh the profession of a teacher is the noble profession. I agree. My mother was a teacher too. Glendale Gardens տարածների առողջապահական կենտրոնը իր բարձրորակ ծառայություններ նմատուցում համայնքի տարածքների, ապահովում են փոխադրամիջոցով, դիետոլոգի կողմից մշակված համապատասխան սննդակարգով։ Ունենք բժշկական ծառայություններ, ինչպիսիք են դեղորայքի ներարկումներ, ճնշման եւ շաքարային դիաբետի ստուգումներ, մասնագիտացված խորհրդակցություն, ֆիզիոթերապիա եւ վերականգնողական մարմնամարզություն։ Սոցիալական ծառայություններ, որոնք կբարելավեն այցելուների վիճակը։ Յուրաքանչյուր օր հագեցված է ժամանցային հետաքրքիր ծրագրերով։ International Families Association is a non-profit organization. Կազմակերպություն, որ տարիներ շարունակ ծառայում է 9-ից 10-ր եկամուտ ունեցող ընտանիքների։ Յուրաքանչյուր երկու շաբթի եւ չորեք շաբթի օրերին կեսորից հետո ժամը 2-ից 5-ը տրամադրվում է անվճար ուտելիք եւ այլ ապրանքներ։ Ընդունվում է ամեն տեսակի հովանավորություն։ Մանրամասների համար զանգահարել 8770077979 հեռախոսահամարով With two decades of active involvement in education and politics, Jackie Goldberg continues to fight on behalf of students. Her direct connection with students K-12 and her keen political activism has distinguished her through many decades. She is a Los Angeles native and a resident of Echo Park since 1967. Vote for Jackie Goldberg in the primary election on March 5, 2019. Let your voice be heard. What can be done uh, to improve our crumbling infrastructure? Well, it, it goes back to the same things again. It takes taxes to do that. Now, the gas tax, which everybody hates, but it's already showing improvement. They are repairing roads that have not been repaired. We're repairing bridges that could fall down on people and have fallen down in other states when they didn't do it. And even in California. In, even in California, yeah, I know. We can also do things that will help people prepare for an earthquake. We know one's going to come, we just don't know when. So there's a lot of things that can be done, but basically the most important thing to do with infrastructure is to have a long-range plan and to begin, to not wait to begin because our infrastructure is really a mess in California but it is all over the country and I think if we were to provide the appropriate tax base we could repair roads and bridges we could provide uh, additional uh, housing for the homeless we could do a lot of things that will improve the quality of life for all people who live in this state How significant was designating a portion of East Hollywood as Little Armenia Well that was very important to me It became very important when I realized that we had other designations like that for other subgroups within our society. And it seems to me that one of the things that makes people proud is to have some kind of designation. We picked the streets that we did because they were the original origin of places that people from 
uh, all over the all world, over the in the yeah. diaspora of the Armenian people, that they came to those areas first. Now, they may not be the most today, but they were where it began, and we felt we should designate a historic part of the city of Los Angeles as Little Armenia because it is a part of pride. People, you know, I think when people have pride, they're much less likely to look down on other people. True. And so when we, when we bolster in, in any group of people and say to them, we recognize you, we recognize you're here, we recognize your contributions, by something as really as small as a designation of Little Armenia, we are saying that we know you contribute and we're glad that you're a part of this society. Thank you for Little Armenia. Oh, it was my pleasure. Jackie, uh, I know that you have visited Armenia uh, following the devastating earthquake of 1988. What was your experience like? You know, Arshalus, uh, I was on the school board at that time, and I saw the first pictures as they came across on the, uh, on the television. And I thought, you know, we have an Armenian population in this district, but we also have populations in this district who've also had devastating events in their countries. And so I asked the children, uh, to donate a nickel, a dime, a quarter. We didn't want them to spend big money, but you know, with 600,000 students, we cre collected quite a bit of money. Some of the teachers also donated, and also we had people who donated school supplies because the schools were just wiped out. They were devastated. And so I was invited to bring all of that. I was just going to send it, but it was, for me, quite an experience. And I saw what a devastation it was. I mean, really, a lot of the city was just leveled. Um, and it was at a time when Azerbaijan was stopping oil and gas from coming in with a, a blockade, which meant that there was very little electricity, there was very little uh, natural gas, people were cold in the winter because they didn't have a chance to uh, use gas heating. Um, it, was, it was an experience that, however, made me understand the resiliency of the Armenian people because they didn't lie down and say, oh my God, we've been devastated, I guess the game is over. They said, pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and let's begin fixing it, let's change things, and let's actually use this as an opportunity because as we rebuild, we will rebuild in ways that bring things up to date. Uh, because a lot of the buildings fell because they were so very old and unreinforced. Um, and so I, I was very impressed with my uh, short stay there with the resilience of everybody. People finding ways to make ends meet, make things do. Uh, teachers, I met with teachers, they were still holding classes even though most of it was held outdoors. Um, and because yeah, there was unbelievable. It, unbelievable. Real, it was it was it was quite impressive in and it, it reminded me uh, that when people have uh, a community a sense of resolution a, a community feeling that they look out for each other and that was an important part of my understanding and besides Armenians have always been survivors oh truly had to be had to be exactly. <laughs> didn't really have a choice did you <laughs> I mean really Jackie thank you very much and uh, allow me to wish you good luck on March 5th and looking forward to a celebration of your victory well good and schnorr hagalushin to all of your viewers Hunter. and to you. Hunter. Hunter. It was my pleasure. Glendel Garden starts in the year of Chapakan Kendrona, Irbart Surat, Zarayut Suner Namatutsum, Hamanki Tarets Neri, Apa Hovumen, Pohadrami Jotsov, Dietologico Mits Mashakvats, Amapatas Hansen and Dakarkov, Unang Pajushka Kantarayut Suner, Pisiki and Dehorai Kinera Kumner, Chenshman Yavshakarain Diabetes to Gunner, Masnakita Svats Horutak Sutsum, Physiotherapia Yevberakan Novakan Marna Marzutsum, Social Kantarayut Suner, Borong Barelaven, Aitselunari Vijaka, Yura Kanchur Osh, Haget Svats, Raman Sain, Heta Kirkir Zaragrerov. International Families Association is a non-profit organization. Kazmakerputsun, Burtarine Sharunak Tarayume in a past Tatar Yakamut on its own Tanikneri. Yurakanchur Yerkushapti Yevchorek Shapti Orerin, Kesuritseto Jama Yerkusits Hinga, Drama Dervume, and Vajar Utelik Yevaila Prankner. And Tunvume Amente Sakihovana Burutsun. Manra Masneri Hamar Zangaharel Utmekut, Yot Yot Zero, Zero Yot Yotanasun Inna, Herakosa Hamarov.
advertising on Inside TV, please call 818-653-0199.